This program proudly brought to you by Microsoft. Tonight, one of 81 women will replace Brooke Lee and be next to wear the crown of Miss Universe. Andrea Rose. 
approach. Israel, Kagit Raz. Italy, Claudia Triesta. Seventh annual Miss Universe pageant. I'm Jack Wagner, and we're coming to you live from the Stan Sheriff Center in Hawaii on the island of Oahu. We're here in one of the most beautiful places on earth with 81 of the most beautiful women in the world. Last time I saw so many beauties was on Melrose Place during Sweets Week. These women represent a multicultural paradise of beauty, but they do have one thing in common. They all want to win. And I have learned how to say, where's my close-up in 42 different languages. Okay, adding to the rest of our roster to beauty, beauty tonight, let's go up to the Skybox and meet our co-hosts of the evening. Both of them have been People Magazine's choices for most beautiful people in the world. Entertainment Tonight's Julie Moran, and actress and former Miss USA, Allie Landry. Thanks a lot, Jack. And aloha from Rocky Key, everyone. The place they call life's greatest beach. And Allie, it is great to be working Thank with you, you again. Do. And this is a whole different pageant from Miss USA, isn't it? Absolutely. I was in Las Vegas as part of the Miss Universe pageant in 96. And I can tell you, we all found ways to understand each other. And here, more than 40 languages are being spoken. And they still understand it's each really other. It's really unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It? Well, throughout the night, we'll give you the dish on the designer gowns, the eye-popping swimsuits, and all the bottled-up nervous tension that is on that stage right now. And just so you know, the people in the audience, including the judges, they can't hear what we're saying up here, so we can dish all we want with no guilt. Right? We're safe. We're safe <laughs> up here. Right now, though, let's go back to Jack. Jack? Okay, 40 down and 41 to go. Let's meet the rest of our Miss Universe delegates, all of them wearing designs by Betsy Johnson. Jamaica, Shani McGrath. Japan, Nana Okumura. Korea, Dion Kim. Lebanon, Nina El Khadif. Malaysia, Shireen Wong. Malta, Carol Kassar. Mauritius, Lena Rampool. Mexico, Tati Fuentes. Namibia, Rita Reinders. Netherlands, Jacqueline Ruteville. Nigeria, Chica Chikese. Northern Mariana, Aline Yunlizama. Norway, Steen Bertsvon. Panama, Tanisha Drummond. Paraguay, Luz Gonzalez. Peru, Karim Burnell. Philippines, Jules Dobaton. Poland, Sylvia Dupiet.
Portugal is Celia Berenguez. Puerto Rico, Joyce Gerard. Romania, Julia Verdes. Russia, Anna Malova. Singapore, Alice Lim. Slovak Republic, Vladimira Rino Gekova. South Africa, Karishni Naika. Spain, Maria Jose Besora. Sweden, Jessica Olich. Switzerland, Tanya Gutmann. Trinidad and Tobago, Wendy Fitzwilliams. Turkey, Azaman Krauza. Ukraine, Olena Spurena. Uruguay, Virginia Russo. USA, Shane Jebia. U.S. Virgin Islands, Leo Webster. Venezuela, Marushka Ramirez. Yugoslavia, Yelena Turninich. Zimbabwe, Selena Stewart. Sheriff Center in Honolulu, Hawaii, it's the 47th annual Miss Universe pet. We'll be right back with the top 10 finals. Welcome back to the 47th Annual Miss Universe pageant on CBS. You know, there were only seven wonders in the world, but take a good look behind me, and I think you'll agree I'm standing here with 81 of them. Right. Okay, we're about to announce the 10 finalists, but before we do, we need to meet the only people in the audience who can't just sit back and enjoy the views. They have tonight's toughest job, our panel of judges. The star of some of the most powerful TV productions in history, including Shogun, The Thornbirds, and Centennial, Richard Chamberlain, syndicated columnist for the New York Post and TV commentator for Today and E! Entertainment, Cindy Adams, Grammy-nominated recording artist, acclaimed actress, and the star of her own TV variety show, Maria Conchita Alonso, recognized the world over for her innovative and cutting-edge style, fashion designer Vivian Tan, senior editor of Sports Illustrated and the woman in charge of the swimsuit edition, Elaine Farley. The editor of the New York Post, page six column, Richard Johnson. The Emmy-nominated star of the CBS daytime drama, The Young and the Restless, Shamar Moore. Figure skating's wizard, three-time world champion, two-time Olympic silver medalist, and four-time Canadian champion, Elvis Stoiko. All right. The first big moment has arrived. We're about to meet the 10 women who will continue their quest to be Miss Universe 1998. The 10 finalists in random order. Our first finalist is South Africa. South Africa's Karishni Naika holds a master's degree in pharmacy and is a correspondent for a television magazine show in her country.
Our second finalist, Russia. Russia's Anna Malova is a medical doctor who also works as a model and is set to host her own television interview show. Our third finalist, Miss Ireland. Ireland's Andrea Roach is a successful model, a commentator on Irish television, and is pursuing her degree in marketing. Our fourth spot goes to Miss Brazil. Brazil's Michelle Marti just finished her second year of law school, wants to be a judge, and is her home state's barrel racing champion. Six more spots to fill. Our fifth finalist, Miss Colombia. Colombia, Sylvia Fernanda Ortiz helped found a school for local children and hopes to own her own international food restaurant. Okay, I'm getting nervous now. Our sixth position goes to Miss India. India's Limarina D'Souza wants to be a child psychologist, loves to cook, and wants to open an Indian fast food restaurant. Four more spots to fill, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're getting them right at home. Our seventh position goes to Miss Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago's Wendy Fitzwilliam is in her last year of law school and would like to become a diplomatic representative in the Foreign Service. Our eighth spot, Miss Venezuela. Venezuela's Barushka Ramirez wants to be a marine biologist and volunteers for an organization that provides food and shelter to homeless children. Two spots left for the final ten. The second last spot, ninth position, Miss USA. The USA Shawnee Jebia is a co-host of a television sports fit and program and wants to get her masters in health promotion and wellness. Now for our tenth and very final spot. The tenth position goes to Miss Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico's Joyce Gerard has a bachelor's degree in social work and special education, worked as a model, and wants to go to law school. There they are, ten of the most beautiful women in the entire universe. How's that for a top ten list, huh? Eat your heart out, David Letterman. Up to you, Julian Alley. Now, as you look at the diversity of this group, I, I mean, so it's excited. a high fashion version of the UN Security Council. <laughs> I know. Any surprises here, Julie? You know what? I am. I'm really surprised Miss Bonaire did not make the top ten. She's I am stunning, also. striking, intelligent. I agree. The Dominican Republic, Same too. Here. Same here. But you know what? I am not at all surprised that all these South American girls no. are up there. Because out of all the girls, they probably prepare the most. It's true. And you know what? The crowd is loving this competition. This is crazy in this <laughs> venue here. And everybody was really excited about USA also. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, let's go back down to Jack. Jack? But here's how the judging works. All of the preliminary scores have been wiped out, and our judges start fresh with these ten finalists. The highest and lowest scores will be tossed out, and the remainder will be averaged. Now, on to the first part of tonight's competition. We want you to get to know the delegates, so we're going to do it with just a little bit of a twist. In keeping with the international spirit of this pageant, each delegate has been assigned another delegate, and she has to learn everything she can about the other delegate's country. So let's see how well they studied for this world tour. And for those who need it, we have professional translating service here to help us. So let's meet our first delegate, Miss South Africa. She got together with a delegate from the Mediterranean island of Malta. Now, Miss South Africa, we understand that you want to spread the word that South Africa is multicultural. What was the most fascinating thing you learned about the Maltese culture? 
think that the most important thing about the Maltese culture was that they were extremely warm. This is what my Maltese partner conveyed to me. They're also quite a diverse community in terms of the fact that they have a very English community. Um, if you're not aware, it used to be ruled by the English government at one, once upon a time. So they have an English community, a British community, as well as Italian. So they're also quite diverse, very similar to South Africa. Oh, sounds interesting. Now. I understand that you play quite a few musical instruments. Did you learn anything about the music of Malta? Yes, I did. Something that's most common to Malta is folk music, um, which they perform village dancing to, and it's called the Contra Danza. I think I'm going to have to learn that dance. Thank you very much. Would you step over here? Miss Russia. She took notes from Miss Ghana to study up for our little world tour. Miss Russia, now you're about to have your own television interview show. Did you learn anything about television in Ghana? Oh, yes. <laughs> Actually, it's uh, similar uh, as all over the world. It's international, it's modern, it's, uh, it has a lot of music, it has a lot of uh, actors, movies, and everything what uh, any television has. Well, there you have it. So Ghana's no different than anywhere else you're saying then, right? Well, it, it's a little bit different climate. It's hot it's in, in West Africa, but it's beautiful. So when you do your interviews, you just sweat a lot. Got it. Okay, great. Russia is a very cold and very big country. Ghana is a very warm, very small country. What do you think your countries have most in common? In my country... Um, what they would have in common? What, what would be similar between the two countries? Well, I think um, a lot of cultural things, uh, uh, as I said, uh, television and movies and... Uh, um, uh, <laughs> and people sweat in Russia and they sweat in Ghana, right? Uh, I, I think there is no difference between young generation because they all like the same thing. They like to go out, they like to go to the clubs, uh, they enjoy the same things. It's all over the world. Very good. Thank you very much, Miss Russia. Step over here, people. Miss Ireland. Now she hooked up with Miss Aruba to learn about one of the ABC islands just north of South America. Now after you finish school, you want to take a year off to travel. I understand. Now if you visited Aruba, what's the one thing you'd want to see most? Well, Aruba is known as one happy island, uh, so that's good. They have white beaches and one climate all year, which is hot. So that's a change from Ireland, and I think I'd enjoy that, the beaches. Would you wear a lot of sunscreen because your skin's so fair? Would you think you'd wear a lot of sunscreen out on the beaches out there? Well, my mother's Indian, so I tan fairly easily. I have sallow skin, so I don't need... I'm not like most Irish people. I can t get a suntan. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. So you both live on islands now, both of you. What's the biggest difference in the Emerald Isle as the Isle of Aruba? Well, I think it's similar in the fact that the people seem to be friendly. The difference would be that Aruba, Aruba depends solely on tourism for their source of income, and Ireland doesn't. We have our own industries and different sources of income. So that would be the main difference. Oh, excellent. Thank you very much. Step over. Miss Brazil, she took an imaginary trip across the Atlantic to learn about customs from Miss Cyprus. We'll have an interpreter for Miss Brazil. Your first question is, you want to be a judge in your country there, and there are many female, I'm sorry, there are, there are many female judges, excuse me. What did you learn about the role of women in Cyprus? Você que está estudando para um dia ser juíza, o que que você aprendeu sobre a ilha do Chipre das mulheres que querem estudar, ser juízas lá. Bom, first, thank you and mahalo. Yeah. Uh, thank you. O que eu aprendi sobre as mulheres na ilha de Chipre é que as mulheres lá estão conseguindo tomar uma posição similar às mulheres, aos homens. Isso é muito importante. Eu acho que isso é um ponto muito positivo que eu vi nas mulheres de Cyprus. 
I found out that the women in Cyprus are having a very powerful position as in the same level as the men do, and I think this is a very important role for women to have in the island of Cyprus. Yes, it is. Now, Ms. Brazil, Portuguese is your native language. When you first got together, how did you and Cyprus communicate? Porque o português é a sua língua nativa. Como é quando você conheceu a representante da ilha do Chipre que você podia se comunicar com ela? English is my second language. Thank you very much, Ms. Brazil. Miss Colombia, she spent the last few days learning about the customs of Ukraine. Miss Colombia. Now, and we have an interpreter for her. Latin American men are, are not known for being bashful. What did you learn about men in the Ukraine? Los hombres latinoamericanos no se conocen por ser tímidos. ¿Qué has aprendido tú sobre los, los hombres de Ucrania? Bueno, la verdad, los hombres ucranianos eh, son un poco más tímidos que los latinos. Los latinos somos muy alegres, muy espontáneos y nos caracteriza, nos caracteriza, nos caracteriza eso aquí y en cualquier lugar del mundo. Pero yo pienso que si voy a Ucrania y conozco a un hombre ucraniano, puedo enseñarle a ser un poco extrovertido y puede ser que le vaya muy bien. <laughs> well, Ukrainian men are more timid than Latin American men, but uh, Ukrainian uh, men are, or Latin American men rather, are known because they are so bold and so uh, happy, such a happy-go-lucky uh, type of people. But I think that if I go to Ukraine and I meet a nice Ukrainian man, that I could teach him to be more extroverted. Perfect. Thank you very much, Ms. Columbia. We'll be back with the remaining five of our ten finalists right here on CBS. Dear Ange, a girl from New Zealand ought to know what Down Under means, and this is really it. One of the best things about Hawaii is the perfect climate for water sports, like surfing. A third of the state's best surfing beaches are on Oahu. So my mates grabbed the boards and tried to hang ten. Whoop! Let's try again. Whoop! Oh well, might as well stay down under, because there's so much to see below sea level. Time to check out top. All right, finally got the hang of it. Or is that the hang ten of it? Let's continue our world tour. Now, don't forget, each delegate is being questioned about another delegate's country, Miss India. She knows a lot about the Central America since she shared her studies with Miss Costa Rica. Join me right here. Thank you. There you go. Now, you want to be a child psychologist. Did you learn anything about the way children are raised in Costa Rica? I think... The children in Costa Rica are pretty much raised as anywhere else in the world because uh, the sense of family values in Costa Rica is very strong. And I think if that you have that in a country, you can, very be, sh you can be very sure that the children are brought up well. well. I have to agree with you there. Now, you love to cook and you want to open your own restaurant. What did you learn about the food in Costa Rica? The food in Costa Rica, well, their favorite dish is something called kaya pinto, which is rice and beans. And surprisingly, that's pretty much the same in my country as well. But Costa Ricans are not used to spicy food. They, they like their food a little bland. So you just sneak a little hot sauce and just watch them all just grab their stomach, huh? Uh, I'll just carry my chili powder if ever I go there. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Miss India. Miss Trinidad and Tobago, she got together with Miss Japan to learn about a whole different kind of island. Now, carnival is almost a ritual in Trinidad. Did you learn anything about rituals in Japan? Actually, I did. Uh, in Japan, the theater is very, very important. It's a very old tradition. It has been around for many, many, many centuries. And um, it's mainly classical Japanese music and even though I won't be able to understand it, I understand it's very very interesting, the stories are very easy to follow, uh, the costuming is fantastic, very bright colors and that kind of thing and in the Caribbean we also use a lot of bright colors so I would very much enjoy 
Good. And you said you would be happy living all over the world. What's the one thing she told you that would make you want to live in Japan? The diversity of that country. Um, in Japan, you can do anything. In winter, you ski. Uh, if you're feeling for quiet time, the countryside is beautiful. And then Tokyo is party town. And I'm a trini. <laughs> Carnival is my thing. I know how to party. Very good. Thank you very much. Miss Venezuela, she has learned a few things from Miss Romania, her Eastern Europe country, there'll be an interpreter. Now, you love to dance. What did you learn about dancing in Romania? A ti te encanta bailar. ¿Qué has aprendido acerca de la danza en Rumanía? Bueno, es una danza que no tiene mucho movimiento, pero sí lo sé hacer. Well, it is a dance that does not have oh, too much she's, movement, she's but working I certainly know how to do it. Very good. Something like this. So that's what you learned about dance in Romania. Eso es lo que aprendiste acerca de la danza en Rumanía. Yes. Okay. Now we've seen you all week and you have a terrific sense of fashion. Did you learn anything about fashion trends in Romania? Te hemos estado observando durante toda la semana y nos hemos dado cuenta de que tienes un sentido muy grande acerca de la moda. Muy bueno. ¿Qué has aprendido acerca de la moda en Rumanía? Bueno, dicen que la moda en Rumania no, no está muy avanzada porque son personas que depende de su clima, pueden utilizar cualquier tipo de ropa abrigada, pero dicen que ella me dijo que le gustaría que como en otros países la moda fuera avanzada. Well, uh, because Romania is a country that is very cold, uh, the uh, fashion trends there are not as advanced as uh, they are over here. So, uh, but she says that she would like for her country to have uh, uh, trendy fashion. Very good. Thank you very much, Ms. Venezuela. <laughs> Miss USA got a lesson about Southeast and Africa. Miss USA was paired with Zimbabwe. Now tell me, what was the first thing you talked about when you got together? Hi, how are you? Are you having a good time? <laughs> nice start there. Did you talk about the culture or any kind of her, uh, the things that she likes to do? Well, first we just kind of looked at each other for a while. With 81 of us, we just stared at each other in the faces. You can see each country in their faces. So um, after we did that, we kind of thought about, okay, your music, what's your music like, your food, uh, what's your culture, anything special that uh, signifies your country. Gotcha. Now you host your own fitness show. Now if you were to travel to Zimbabwe to tape a show, what would you feature? Oh, the, uh, Victoria Falls. Um, Selena, uh, my partner, she told me that they have these incredible waterfalls and they kind of have the uh, serpent that's a mystical myth of there. I don't know if I would swim in that, but I would definitely want to film in front of the falls. Right, you'd like a like, little backdrop of the falls and to your workout. Absolutely. Very good, thank you very much. Miss Puerto Rico spent her time with Miss Lebanon to study about the exotic Mideast. <laughs> Hello. Now tell me, what would you have to change most about yourself if you were to move to her Lebanon? I wouldn't change anything about myself. Being in Lebanon, being in Hawaii, being in anywhere in the world, I wouldn't change anything about myself. I am so happy with myself. And if I change something, everything I am is dead if I'm not myself. Got it. You worked as a model to pay for school. Did you learn anything about fashion in Lebanon? Oh, yes. They love fashion. Nina El Cadiz, she was Miss Lebanon. She told me that they love fashion very much. And the most fashion thing in Lebanon is this attire they use for belly dance. And they dance belly dance. We dance salsa and they dance belly dance. It goes like this. I'm going to show you. Okay. We may need to take a break here. Um, thank you very much, Miss Puerto Rico. That's the end of the first part of the competition. Julie, why don't you tell us what, uh, what Allie thinks? And Allie, why don't you tell us what Julie thinks? I'll tell you what we think, Jack. We think this is a fierce competition. It certainly is. They are neck and neck, except one is leading. But Miss Trinidad and Tobago has won this portion of the competition. Let's look at the scores right there. But India, 
He's right, right behind, behind her, and so is Venezuela. A lot of good answers right. from this portion. We're about to move on to the swimsuit competition where the delegates can choose to wear a one-piece or a two-piece. But before we get to the actual competition, we thought we'd show off all the delegates in a more natural setting. So we asked Miss Universe Brooke Lee to round them up and head for the Hilton Hawaiian Village on Waikiki's Best Beach. <laughs> Dear Mom, the other day I went to see the Arizona Memorial with Nana Akumura of Japan. The memorial honors the more than 1,100 men who lost their lives on that single ship when Pearl Harbor was attacked on December 7, 1941. It happened long before we were born. There was something special about sharing this tour together. Something we'll always remember about something that should never be forgotten. Dear Keanu, what better place to spend my last day as Miss Universe than my Hawaii home? And as for what I'm doing tomorrow, well, I'm staying here for business. I can hook up with the Asia Pacific markets, satellites from the high-speed fiber network that make Hawaii a hub for international business. Then all my partners can come to our new world-class convention center. And if I join the military, this is not a bad place to be stationed because Hawaii is a strategic location for America's Pacific defense. Plus. It's a big center for scientific research, medical care, and education. Or I could go Hollywood and make movies in the gorgeous weather and scenic beauty. And then there's always our never-ending aloha spirit. As far as I'm concerned, that alone would close the deal. Okay, let's get down to business with another very important part of the competition. Now, you know it's one thing to wear your swimsuit when you're hanging around the pool with your friends, but to walk out here live in front of a worldwide TV audience in the billions in a swimsuit and high heels, well, believe me, I know I could never do it. I mean, I've always had trouble with heels. Ladies and gentlemen, wearing London Sasha shoes and not much else, the 1998 Janssen Swimsuit Competition.
Russia. Beaches this summer. Julian Alley. Make you want to put your suits on? I think I'd be worried that I'd catch fire with Not the fire, fire dancers. <laughs> 
could have said, we go to the beach. That's right. You know, I don't know how to say this, but there doesn't seem to be as much emphasis on dress here as in the Miss USA pageant. Can I get away with that? <laughs> I, think I guess it's different. so. I guess so. If they have had anything done, I think it's a little more subtle than USA. I think you're right. Oh. Now, the winner of the swimsuit competition receives the all-important Janssen Swimsuit Award, which carries with it a $1,000 prize. And this year, the award goes to Miss Venezuela. Wow. Now, she really has a head start now. She looks great. We thought it'd be fun for you to see what happens before this big night. So here's the pageant you don't usually see. Aloha, welcome to the Hilton Hawaiian Village on Waikiki's Best Beach. Girls, welcome back to the Hilton Hawaiian Village on Waikiki's Best Beach. Come on, let's rock it out! Come on! Hey! Hawaii! Sheraton Waikiki proudly welcome the Miss Universe delegates. Spray it with hairspray, hit it with a curling iron. When you see the smoke, you know it's ready. <laughs> if you wanted your hair to grow longer, you should wear it up every day for the next six months. I love those little suede heels. Sexy shoes. You guys are gorgeous on your own. You don't need a lot of hair and makeup. Okay. Uh, great, just like that. Very nice. Dear Jossie, there are so many incredible tours to take in Hawaii. Whale watching off Maui, cruising above the Diamond Head Crater, going on a safari on Molokai, but I also had a chance to take my favourite kind of Hawaiian tour. Ta -da! I even ended up with a few souvenirs. Time now for a little change of pace as the delegates slip into something a little more elegant. And while we feature our ten finalists, you'll get to see all the other delegates in places representing the old and the new Hawaii. The classic Sheraton Royal Hawaiian and the brand new convention center. So attended by the King's Guard of Hawaii, the 1998 evening gown competition with a little help from the top of the charts, Casey and Jojo. <laughs>
Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico's George Gerard jogs nearly every day and as a part of military training had to jump off a tower into a pile of mud. Hopefully not in that dress. This is the second dress I've seen her in also. The other one is more of a bustier top. This See, is beautiful. They evaluate and change. I have this seen dress. this dress before in another. This is a version of one that Venezuela wore a few years ago. you can be in a whole different world. We have loved being here, haven't we? We certainly have. We'll be back with more from our beautiful host city of Honolulu, Hawaii, right after this. Okay, here they are. Only five finalists will continue their quest for the crown. Miss Columbia. USA! Trinidad and Tobago! Puerto Rico! Our final spot goes to Miss Venezuela. Our final five, aren't they fabulous? Julie Allen, now tell the truth. Did you pick them? You know what? This is amazing. I picked the top five. Show them about to jump on my seat. Out my seat. I can't show my nose. There's private stuff on here, but we <laughs> got all we got five. all five up here. It's unbelievable. You know this what? Is this great. is great. This is so exciting. Listen to the audience. It's They're going great. crazy. I am excited. Well, These girls are neck and neck. Five left, and the next part of the competition to come. You have got to stay with us. Now, most pageants only show off the delegates in swimsuits and evening gowns, but because this pageant is open to every country, we'll a we're able to enjoy some of the beautiful native costumes of the world. To the sound of the international recording artist Sunland, let's take a look.
could they get those costumes here? Julie, I'll tell you, when I was in this universe, the girls came with 14, 15, 16 boxes. They deserve a packing award, I think. You and I will start a scholarship for the packing award. <laughs> you could start this. <laughs> All right, still to come. The tension is building. The cut to the final three. Which way to the Lu house? Can you say my wagon to Lu Hao? Lu? Is it Lu? El Lu? Pai Lu Hao, pai yang ai ka? Lu? Yeah, muscle gede bilir. Ku enda ku Lu Hao nde kopi. Donde sta Lu? Sta Lu Hao, Lu Hao, Lu Hao, Lu Hao, Lu Hao. Peta na pa jang Lu Hao, Lu Hao. Kaku dodo jang Lu Hao. Où se trouve le Lu Hao? Où est sta Lu Hao? Do not. Dear Mum, in Kauai, you think pineapples. And Lanai used to be one big, giant pineapple plantation. Now you can really pamper yourself in two of the most gorgeous resorts in the world. I know you like golf, and this is like teeing off in paradise. Or you can go diving at Hulapoe Bay. Or just lie back and do nothing, guilt-free. One of Lanai's most famous spots is the rugged landscape called Garden of the Gods. And you know what? You can just about call the entire island that, too. Miss Universe not only has to look good in a swimsuit and an evening gown, she's got to face the morning news, the evening news, and the daily news from around the world. In other words, she's got to mind her P's and Q's when it comes to the Q&A. So here to put them to the test is Jose diaz Ballard from the CBS News. From the beautiful country of Colombia, say hello to Silvia Fernanda Ortiz. Hi, Hola. Silvia. How are you? Fine. We know you want to open a restaurant, and the person you would most like to invite for dinner is Margaret Thatcher. Who would you want to be her dinner partner? Sabemos que quieres tener un restaurante y que la persona que más quisieras invitar a comer allí sería a Margaret Thatcher. ¿Quién quisieras tú que fuera su compañero de mesa? Tú no. Not you. Eh, me gustaría que fuera su esposo. Eh, me gustaría aprender mucho de los dos, de cómo ella ha llegado a su triunfo. Cómo ha alcanzado llegar hasta donde está, y yo pienso que es una mujer que me podría enseñar muchísimo. I'd like for her to be her husband, and actually, I'd like to learn a lot from both of them. I'd like for her to teach me how she reached her victories, her triumphs, and uh, I think that that would be very helpful. That I have a lot to learn from them. She also added, "No way, me." Um, you're a basketball player, and I just happen to have a basketball. Steal it. Soy jugador, eres jugadora de básquet. De yes. casualidad tenemos una pelota, así que róbamela. This girl doesn't mess around. She does. She's so <laughs> confident, too. And so relaxed. Well, so relaxed. She's done this second time. Just sit down and she's terrific. Let's go back to Jose with delegate number two. <laughs> From the United States of America, Shawnee Jevia. How are you, Shawnee? Fine, thank you. How are you, Jose? You said if you could be anyone for a day, you would choose Oprah Winfrey. I'm wondering what would be the topic of that day's show. <sighs> Definitely not something that... Uh, would make someone want to sue me. Uh, so it wouldn't be Jerry Springer? Okay. No, no, no. I would want to just be myself and express whatever the world's issues are. I think that's what Oprah does. Is she's a woman of the 90s. She brings issues that all of us want to hear and want to see, and uh, she's such a powerful woman. You say you want to start fitness centers in corporate headquarters. What would you say to executives who sit all day on their big, fat butts? <laughs> I'd say I want to make it easier for you. I want to give you a gym in your building where you can either get in there for 20 minutes before you go to work, get in there at lunch, get in there after, something that's right there so you can stop that sedentary lifestyle and work out and sweat. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. I think she did well, but I'm not sure she aced it. You know, she was very comfortable. She answered her questions well, but it wasn't as powerful as I would have liked to have seen. There wasn't a real spark. I didn't feel a, you know, a spark. Right, let's see what the judges All right, think. let's go back to Jose with delegate number three. From Trinidad and Tobago, Wendy Fitzwilliam. Hi, Wendy. Hi, how are you? Wendy, you love singing, and your fantasy is to record a jazz album. Oh, no. You know where this is going. You know where this is going. <laughs> Sing me a line. Okay. Um, 
I fell in love with you the first time I looked into Then there eyes You've got a swinging cute we're flirting with Then there eyes They make me feel so happy Okay. I smell an album coming. You want to be a foreign representative for Trinidad and Tobago. What's the first assignment you'd give yourself? Oh, the first assignment I would give myself definitely would be to work within our region, within the Caribbean. I think we need to unite more as a region. There are many, many islands making up the West Indies. And even though we're moving in that direction, there's still a lot of work to be done. And I think I can do it. Politics and singing, wonderful combination. Thank you. This girl seems to have it all. Doesn't she's she? intelligent. She's humorous. She's nailing it every time. I think nothing seems to throw her. Look That's the stars. point. She's nothing. Her. She's a nine-nine. She's doing she's very well. Great. Let's go back to Jose with delegate number four. From Puerto Rico, Joyce Duran. Hi, Joyce. Hello. How are you? I'm very good. Home. You say you'd love to talk to Nelson Mandela. What would you ask him? I would ask him how you do to demonstrate the world that it's not about this, it's not about color, it's about what you have in your heart and what you have in your mind. He showed that if we persevere, we make our dreams come true. And I would just love to talk to him about that. You know, as part of your military school training, you had to touch a lizard, jump off a tower into mud, and eat an ant. Let's say they say, like, you have to shave your head off. Would you go that far? Well, if it was part of my job, I think I would. Really? Although I love my hair, but if it was part of my job, I definitely would. I ate an ant. Yeah, but hairless Miss Puerto Rico is different. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. Well, you know what? I like her. I do. I, I think she's very bright, and I think she's, she's together, today. and she's quick. She's with her answers. answers. Yeah, she's got it all. All right, let's go back to Jose with the last delegate. From Venezuela, Verusca Ramirez. Hi, Verusca. Hi, good night. You said if you could trade places with anyone for a day, it would be Indiana Jones. Is it like just the clothes, or what mystery would you like to uncover? Tú nos has dicho que si pudiese cambiar de lugar durante un día con alguna persona, esa persona sería Indiana Jones. ¿Es solamente debido a su vestimenta o es que hay algún misterio que tú quisieras descubrir? Wow. Bueno, me encantaría irme con él de aventura porque son muchas las cosas que él hace, le encanta muchísimo descubrir y bueno, si me voy con él, definitivamente yo sería su atracción fatal. Well, I would love to go uh, off on an adventure with him. I uh, know that he has a lot of nice things that he uh, is always discovering and uh, were I to go off on an adventure with him, I would become his fatal attraction. Two movies for the price of one with Miss Arzuela. Thank you very much. You're she has been on all week. She has. I, I love her. I think Jose's a little smut in her <laughs> She makes, I saw her make the round around the room like 10 times in one day. Talking She's to a everybody. professional. She's really And her scores talented. are pretty, pretty good. good. scores reflect it. Definitely. You know what's interesting here is that this competition is really fierce, but Miss Trinidad has never won the Miss Universe competition, so for her to be doing so well exactly. is really a surprise. Exactly, and what's interesting also is that USA has won several times, right. I think the most seven, and Venezuela is, is right behind them. Oh. So these girls are pros. Neck and neck right here. They love the intense competition. <laughs> okay, whatever pressure there was before, multiply by the number of times you wish your opponents tripped. You are so bad. She is bad. Do you know they're <laughs> Thinking it. Be honest. All right. We'll be back to see who makes the final three. Nine thirty Tuesday. You know, how can a big look after a twelve-year-old? I mean, really. It all starts as a favor. So you just took it? Of course, we should be going to the police. Only to reveal a string of secrets and lies. You pinched it, didn't you? You tried to palm us off with a fake Elvis. When the army escape. What is the story, George? Is to be somebody you're Elvis, not. I needed a break. Still don't see it, do you, copper? It's right under your bloody nose. You wouldn't understand. Good guys, bad guys. Nine thirty Tuesday on Channel Nine. Times of joy. Best Friends is Foster and Allen's brand new album. Lonely, I wonder. Best Friends, 25 favorites of family and friendship. From the romantic heart of Ireland. 
Foster and Allen are best friends. Foster and Allen, the brand new album on CD, cassette and music video. Road in Warrantal. I gotta get home. How do I find Botany Street? Okay, Vodafone Navigator. Street directions over your mobile. Network Vodafone. Oh yeah. You gotta get that deco look. Deco Rug have a beautiful range of imported rugs in styles and colors to suit every home and prices to suit every budget. Now you can protect your new rugs with Rug Guard Fabric Protection, free with any purchase over $250. But for a limited time only, Rug Guard is exclusive to Deco Rug and comes with a three-year warranty. Visit your nearest Deco Rug store today. You got the Deco look from Deco Rug. What if angels walked among us, silent and unseen? No one can see you unless you want them to. And one of them... And if I want her to? ...fell in love with one of us. He can give up his existence as he knows it and become... ...human. Nicholas Cage. Meg Ryan. I'm in love with you. City of Angels. Beautiful, huh? This Hoya Crystal is being presented by the Toba Corporation, helping every woman achieve her best in body, mind, and spirit. The recipient has been voted most photogenic by the press photographers. And the recipient of the Toba Photogenic Award goes to Miss Slovak Republic. Essence's Style Award is chosen by Clairol's national color expert. It goes to the delegate with the best overall presentation of personal style with an emphasis, emphasis on healthy hair. The winner receives $1,000 and a Hoya Crystal Trophy. This year's winner of the Clairol Herbal Essence's Style Award is Miss Mexico. Finally, the award that seems to be everyone's favorite, the Congeniality Award. And it's so special because this award is voted for by the delegates, and it's given to the one delegate who reached out with that extra little spirit and energy to inspire everyone else. This year's Congeniality Award goes to Miss Turkey. Congratulations, ladies. Now, in my hand, in my left hand, are the names of the three delegates who will continue in the 1998 Miss Universe pageant. Miss Venezuela. Trinidad and Tobago.
There they are, three of the most beautiful women in the universe. Well, Julie Alley, did you guess them right? I'm too emotional to say right now. <laughs> you know, we really no, we, no one's going to believe us. So they won't. We, we won't. need we to show the paper. Top three, but what's so great, oh, we'll show the paper. <laughs> But Miss Trinidad and Tobago is such a pleasant surprise. Didn't you see the arena go wild and she they loved her? I think she her. captured everyone in the audience. And the other two I really was sure about all week, but I she really sure. came out in front, I think. You know, the winner of tonight's pageant doesn't get to stand on the bow of the Titanic and scream, I'm queen of the world! But she does get a lot of other she prizes. She does. Enough to make her think maybe her ship has come in. Let's take a look. Clairol presents the first ever Miss Universe scholarship. $10,000 to the new Miss Universe, plus a year's supply of Herbal Essences hair care products. Herbal Essences, select blends of all natural botanicals and organic herbs, drenched in pure mountain spring water. The Tova Corporation is committed to helping every woman achieve her best in body, mind, and spirit. Tova shares her secrets with the new Miss Universe with a year's supply of Tova skincare and cosmetic products and one year of complimentary services at the Tova Body, Mind and Spirit Day Spa in Beverly Hills. Sony Digital Mavica, the world's only digital camera that records directly on a standard Tomorrow. floppy disk. Nothing's cooler than the easy to use Sony Digital Mavica. Jansen, official swimwear of the Miss Universe pageant proudly awards tonight's winner with $10,000 cash, plus an exciting wardrobe of Janssen Swimwear Ensembles. Janssen, swimwear famous for classic styling and comfortable fit. Hawaiian Tropic Sun Care Products is sending Miss Universe and a guest on an exciting trip to Hawaii. Enhanced with natural flora, fruit, and nut extracts, Hawaiian Tropic offers sun care for every skin type. Be sun smart with Hawaiian Tropic. Miss Universe receives $5,000 and a fabulous array of exclamation products, including glamorous new exclamation noir, exclamation, the official fragrance of tonight's pageant. Tonight, 6.30 on an Our World Premiere special, we visit the far northwest of Australia. Some of the oldest and most spectacular rock paintings in the world. As Glenridge takes us on a journey to a most spectacular part of the country. There's nothing like a good Kimberley storm with lightning and a downpour to clear the air. A land where the elements meet with amazing beauty and a little terror. There's plenty of crocs hiding just below the surface. Glenridge time in the Kimberley, an Our World Premiere special tonight, 6.30 on 9. If you love a few beers, try the beer that looks after you. Tui's Amber Bitter. It's got all the flavour you love, and with 3.5% alcohol, you can have a good time now and not pay for it later. Cheers. Tui's Amber Bitter. It's the beer that loves you back. is coming to a theatre near you. Nissan Pathfinder presents Warren Miller's full-length feature, Snow Riders 2. Some of the world's best snow riders in an incredible adventure that will blow you away. Warren Miller's Snow Riders 2. Get ready to run. The Boy From Oz, the smash hit show, celebrates the life and music of one of our greatest singer-songwriters. Here now is the very best of Peter Allen. The Boy From Oz, don't miss the smash hit stage show. The very best of Peter Allen at just $21.95, plus the anthology, a specially priced three CD box sets, both available now. These super specials at Sleep City. Futon sofa beds now a crazy $2.99. Queen size package deals including bed, mattress and linen from a low $5.49. Take 10% off our discount prices on all timber beds and bedroom furniture. Save up to $500 off. Pay only $10 deposit and get 10 months interest free. Yes, 10% off, $10 deposit and 10 months interest free. So hurry to a Sleep City store near you. Sleep City, Sleep City, here we go.
Here are the rest of Miss Universe's treasured prizes. Show Pard, proud sponsor of the Miss Universe pageant, presents the Happy Diamonds Necklace. Discover the Chopard jewelry collection at the world's most exceptional jewelers. Chopard, creators of spectacular Swiss timepieces since 1860, including the distinctive Happy Diamonds watch, is proud to be the official timepiece of the Miss Universe pageant. Uniting luxury, beauty, and femininity, this year Miss Universe and the premier luxury legwear company, Wolford, redefined putting our best leg forward. The uncompromising quality, setting trends. Wolford puts fashion toward the future. Sasha London, a collection of contemporary footwear especially for you. Remember, style breeds success. Gold Tree by the contemporary impressionist artist James Hoyle. Miss Universe receives a post-crowning victory trip for two to Universal Studios, Florida. Andiamo luggage made in the USA, the official luggage of the Miss Universe pageant. Frequent traveler tough. The new Miss Universe wins a piece of the planet. $20,000 in certificates of Planet Hollywood stock. There's nothing like the planet. No coins, no bills, no problems. $10,000 worth of Spree prepaid phone card from Sprint make it easy for Miss Universe to stay in touch. Spree, the prepaid phone card with universal connection. Our heartfelt thanks to these wonderful people who made our telecast from Hawaii possible. The governor of the state of Hawaii, Benjamin J. Cayetano. The president of the state senate, Norman Mizuguchi. The speaker of the Hawaii State House of Representatives, Joseph M. Suki. The producer for Hawaii, Al Massini. The co-chair and event coordinator of the Hawaii Host Committee, April Massini. And of course, one more very important dignitary, the co-owner with CBS of the Miss Universe organization, Mr. Donald Trump. Right now, it's time for the final question. Now, if the judges are on the fence, this question may very well decide the entire competition. Each of the three will be asked the same question. Now, Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Miss Puerto Rico, I'm going to ask you to go over to the listening station and put those headphones on. Miss Venezuela, will you join me downstage here? Right. Now we have to wait. There'll be no cheating. Can you guys hear me? Hello. Okay. Miss Venezuela, a woman has just awakened after being asleep for 20 years. What do you tell her? She missed. Una mujer se acaba de despertar después de haber estado dormida por 20 años. ¿Qué le dirías tú a ella que se ha perdido? Bueno, yo le diría que se ha perdido lo maravilloso de la vida, que no sabe cuánto hay las personas crecemos, desarrollamos y aprendemos, y que los sueños se hacen realidad y que es que empiece desde ahorita a hacer todos los sueños que en el pasado ella no pudo cumplir. Well. I would tell her that she's missed a marvelous life experience by being asleep and that she should uh, quickly remember that everyone can make their lives, uh, their dreams come true so that she should hurry up and make all the dreams that she had when she was still awake come true now. Thank you very much, Ms. Venezuela. Please step over here, please. Over here. Ms. Trinidad and Tobago. A woman, the question is, a woman has just awakened after being asleep for 20 years. What do you tell her she has missed? Oh, she's missed so much in terms of technology, but unfortunately she's also missed our lack of sensitivity to our environment. Uh, she'll miss now clean air, uh, regular climates, that kind of thing. We... I'm going to tell her that we have to, or, or I should say, we are in the process of turning that around, but that's what she's missing, in my opinion. Fresh air and a good, a, a good earth, a good clean earth. I agree with you completely. Thank you. Thank you. Puerto Rico? Okay. 
A woman has just awakened after being asleep for 20 years. What do you tell her she's missed? I tell her that we are always the same, that we have advanced in technology, in every technology, in everything, but that women are still women, and that women will always be women, no matter how long time passes by, because women are the best. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, our three finalists. Venezuela. You know, I thought she answered in a humorous way. It was a very tough question, and she was right, saying, right. hey, quit sleeping, wake up. Right, and she she was cute. Point, but she was humorous, yes. Trinidad and Tobago. My heart went wow. out for her. Loves this girl. They and love she's her. so smart, and she last me was so nervous she messed up on the question. I know, I really feel we'll for her this time. We'll see what the judges do. Puerto Rico. She's been strong the whole time. It's right now. It's just a matter of who the judges love. Yeah, and it's you know the first part of the competition is going to weigh heavily now. Right. Three finalists, only one winner coming up right after this. Seven o'clock Monday. I'm counting. The pressure's on from the start, and Glenn's really pushing for a sale. Um, not that big sale, thanks, Glenn. How much do you love Alison Lawrence? A lot. <laughs> sale of the century. How will you do? Seven o'clock tomorrow on nine. All over this country, one name is sought. The flooring of quality. He's just two of the best. 100% heavy-duty deep plush pile stain block nylons, $25 per square meter. Or choose a heavy-duty 80-20 wool twist, $32 per square meter. But these prices, stock won't last too long, so get into Carpet Court today. Call 13 13 30 for your local store. Yes, we're glad we bought at Carpet Court. You gotta get that gecko look. Deco Rug have a beautiful range of imported rugs in styles and colors to suit every home and prices to suit every budget. Now you can protect your new rugs with Rug Guard Fabric Protection, free with any purchase over $250. But for a limited time only, Rug Guard is exclusive to Deco Rug and comes with a three-year warranty. Visit your nearest Deco Rug store today. You got the Deco look from Deco Rug. Tomorrow night is the presentation dinner, and I don't want anyone to embarrass the club. So I'm going to explain what all this silver stuff is for. Now, what do we eat this week? Oh, I reckon you'd eat that with a fork, wouldn't you, Coach? You use a spoon. <laughs> no, I reckon you'd eat that with a fork. Spoon. Fork. Spoon. Fork. Brendan. If you keep that up, mate, you're going to be eating yours with a straw. You use a fork. Look at that chunk. Look at that chunk. Brendan. Use a spoon. Spoon. Thanks, Poof. Fork. Campbell's it's Chunky. Like the soup that eats like a meal. On the wings of flight, to the depths of the oceans, from the heights of a mountain, to find the boundaries of experience. Comes the all-new World of Adventure Expo 98. There's extreme sport, air displays, wall climbing, a dive tank, snow ramp, fashion and more. Whoa! It's four days of fun and adventure with all the latest gear on show for every action sport. If you've got a taste for adventure, this is the only expo you'll ever need to see. The World of Adventure Expo 98. Don't miss a minute. 8 o'clock Tuesday, funny business in the office. I want to sexually harass you. Have Mimi's prayers finally been answered? Mimi, if you want a promotion, the ladder to the top goes through my pants. The Drew Carey Show. Ba -ba -ba. Tuesday on 9. I can't believe the year has gone by so quickly. I thank the people that kept me going all year. Being this universe is truly a team effort. To the office family, travel managers, Ellie and Joan, thank you for taking care of me. To the people of the world, you made me laugh and smile and shared your homes with me. Merci beaucoup, muchas gracias, xie xie, terima kase, kap kunka, domo arigato gozaimasu, ayubuan, and kam samnida. Thank you for proving that the multicultural dream is a reality. Last but not least, to my ohana, my family, and the people of Hawaii Ine. Thank you all for making me what I am. Your love and aloha has sustained me around this glorious world. And as it is said in Hawaii, there are no goodbyes. Just aloha oi, till we meet again.
And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Mark Ward of the accounting firm Ernst & Young has verified the winner. We'll begin with the second runner-up. The second runner-up in the 1998 Miss Universe pageant is Miss Puerto Rico. I'm sure you all know this, but it bears repeating. The job of first runner-up is very important. If for any reason this universe cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up takes over. The first runner-up in the 1998 Miss Universe pageant is Miss Venezuela, Miss Universe 1998, Miss Trinidad and Tobago. of the same old stuff on television. Someone needs to stand up and take control.